Hello, Stegosaurus here, and today we're going to start work on Battle Kenya. Uh, awesome helmet. This is a, a model by Uprising Effect. I made one of these previously. It was a Super Sentai Legend Lore model that I exported. Well, let me phrase that. Someone else exported, and I threw it in a blender, and I fixed it up a little bit, printed it, altered it out, and all that. And it's pretty nice. It's not bad. It's not a bad helmet. Um, there might be pictures on my Instagram. I don't know. That was a long time ago. When I was just trying to get a helmet from every series. That was my that was my first school. This all started as my first school. So that would have been what? When I started, it was probably 43. I think Care Major, uh, Care Major was just starting. And now I have like 150 helmets. But whatever. <laughs> About ten years ago. Probably the best <laughs> battle fever member to begin with. So, uh, excited to do this. We'll place it on the shelf. The back is still printing. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to make sure it fits first. Because it looks a little small. But it also looks right, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Let's get to it. Okay, here's Kenya. I'm not convinced it's not too small, but it kind of looks the same with the other ones. And I think they're an okay size, so. Not sure. I feel like my soldering iron might be a little too big for these holes, but we're gonna push on anyway. But, yep, we're gonna get the holes out here with the soldering iron. And uh, hopefully we don't ruin it. That wasn't the best. Uh, this side turned out okay. I don't know if this side just had more indentations. Uh, we got a little blow out here. It's a shame. It started kind of caving in a little bit, so I had to push it out. So there's a little like, dent. I don't know. I think it's going to be okay. Um, so it's hard with this because it's plastic, whereas like the original, the actual helmets are fiberglass. So you can drill holes like this if it's thick enough and have a lot of rigidity still, you know won't just fall in or melt the other side it might crack a little but it should be okay so that that made this difficult i probably should have just used the, the uh, drill might have had the same problem though uh definitely not going to use it on this america because i'm pretty sure her holes are even smaller than these ones so we'll see uh still not sure if this is too small or not it looks okay on my head like it fits my head like an actual like, like super, I don't want to say tight, but super like snug um, in like a good way. Like it's very form fitting because like your nose goes in here, it works. But the back is still printing. It's almost done. So I'll know for sure by then. Uh, <clears throat> if I get the back done and it is too small, I, then uh, we'll accept the new one. No big deal. No big deal. So next we're going to do spot putty on it. And then sand it. I think that's what I've been doing with the other ones, and it's been working pretty well. So that is the game plan. I'm probably gonna wait till the back's done for this one, maybe. I don't know. It's probably gonna take all morning. It's almost done. Got a lot of work to do, but we are getting there. Okay, she needs some work, definitely on the back. The front, I hope we can get the eyes leveled out, or the eye holes leveled out like we did with the Cossack, because I don't like it. There's a little bit of banding there by the one tusk we need to take care of, and just general overall stuff. This is first layer, so uh, that's to be expected. I did finally, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I'm gonna say it again, get a hold of uh, Uprising FX, and he confirmed that Kenya and Battle Japan are uh, scans of helmets. So, just weird. Maybe it's just how the insides, when you hollow them out, what it looks like, I, I don't know. So, that's uh, that's where we're at. The other ones are modeled, and they look really good. So, not a problem, not a problem. And he sent me the reference he used for the uh, Miss America, if I don't say that in her video, because she's almost done. But, 
I get the why he did the way he did. So we'll see how that turns out. But that's not part of this video. I'm just letting you know this is a scan of a helmet. If it's screen used or not, I do not know. Uh, if it is, it's probably from an imagined go kaiser and not actually Battle Fever. But I've been wrong before. Or it could be fan made or something. Really don't know. I didn't really ask that much. Maybe I'll ask and see if we'll find out. That's where we're at. Going to let this dry and we'll do another layer of the spot putty. Okay, this thing is horrible to sand. If I ever complain about sanding a helmet again, I'm like, hey, stick, you remember Battle Kenya? And he'd be like, no, because I repressed this terrible, terrible memory. And we'll just move on with our lives. Uh, I'm gonna have to hand sand the rest. I might see if I could talk my wife into going to Walmart with me and get some new uh, sanding blocks. These work the best. These work the best for some detail sanding. Uh, this is 180 and 320. Wish I could get like 100 and 221. Like, I don't know. But uh, this thing's seen its day. Corners all ripped up and it just kind of, kind of works, but it doesn't. I'm done for the morning. I've been at this since about uh, 5.30 this morning. It's 11. We'll get back at this this afternoon. I'll probably just skip ahead to priming it after I get it hand sanded. But man, this is rough. I don't remember the other one I did beating this hard, but I also, back then, I didn't care as much. It was a skilled or is good, or even could tell you what was wrong with it, so that was just inexperience, whereas this is, this is me trying, trying, so we'll get back at it. Looks like a solid start so far. I remember last time when I did my other one, this thing's a pain to paint. There's just so many colors. There's yellow and orange and silver. And I feel like, I feel like there's a weird accent somewhere. I don't know. But other than that, I think, I think we're off to a good start. I'm, I'm liking it. And the flat black makes pretty much anything look good. So I guess we'll see once we get like the metallic on. Uh, we probably could have sanded in the ears. It's a little bit better. They're a little, little scratchy still, but this thing is so hard to sand. I, I don't know what more I could have really have done and not uh, lost my mind. It is what it is. I'll probably just mask and I'm going to power through the painting. I don't think there's anything particularly special about this, but if we run into anything, I'll let you know. We're going to put the yellow on the fangs and the back to front portion. Not 100% happy with this mask job but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens i have all the other areas that need colored except for the silver masked off so hopefully i'm doing yellow first do i even have orange paint oh dear i might have made a mistake i don't think i do well i don't know if we're gonna get any farther on this today then i guess i could do the green in the air ears uh -huh. i dropped the ball so we'll get the yellow on it i'm doing the yellow first because it takes the most coats and is the most finicky. Uh, as far as I, you know, that's what I think. That's my opinion. And we're going to do the silver in enamel. And I don't like putting that over other paints if I don't have to. Other More than one coat. I mean, we put it over the base coat, obviously. Um, but ever since my co-rag helmet, I've been kind of weary about it. So that's how, that's why we're doing it this way. We'll see what happens. I think we might just clear coat this. I don't know what to do for like detail lines. Like we could do around the fangs maybe, but you know, that's not screen accurate as far as I know. Uh, it looks a little slotchy now because it has that, uh, I did a little bit of acrylic to cover up some overspray we made a mistake on, but yeah, I don't know. It might look cool with stuff around the fangs. Hold on. I have an extra little piece here. In straight, maybe we can check it out real quick. Don't know. What do you think? Think that looks okay? I don't know. 
It looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we will do that. I like it. I like it. I'm just gonna do that though. Everything else is, you know, blocked off by black. So, you know, putting pinstripe over, it's kind of pointless, I guess. Yeah, I'll get this done. And we time to clear it. Magnets elastic. We will get to the spin around. And this is, I know for a fact, because I have all the other ones scheduled, videos done and everything. This is the last battle fever. Kind of, kind of. So let's get to it. That is a Battle Kenya finished. Looking beautiful, I think. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think this is my second favorite Battle Fever helmet. We know that goes to the beautiful Miss America. Wow, what a wonderful helmet that is. But this, this is up there. Um, he's probably the most liked character on Battle Fever. He's, he's like one of the best episodes, too. I don't know if I went into this on a different video or not, but he's one where his friend from uh, Kenya, because he was a, he was in Kenya um, helping stop poachers, and his friend either turns into an assassin or a poacher. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while, but uh, it's a solid episode. It's probably, it's probably one of the best Battle Fever episodes, minus maybe the finale, which... Does not say much. Maybe when uh, what's her name Salat? When maybe when she shows up, that's good too. I don't know. Um, I know I keep saying this, but I do have my script done for my Battle Fever video. Just at this point, I might seem nervous to do it. Maybe I'll do it and put it on a different channel or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so no one will ever know. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is a replacement, as we said. It's replacing this. You've probably seen this for. Oh, over a year or so now sitting here. Let me get her out. Oh, she's bigger. So this was my original one. She's thick. Um, it's like four C's. This was a Super Legends War conversion. Uh, this one was easy because it had a lot of geometry and not a lot of textures for things uh, since there's not really you know any decals on here um, but this this is what we we did she's rough rough the ears aren't painted um, the yellow is nice I'll give it that I painted that nice uh, but I don't know if you can see the mouth there and then the mouth of the new one this one's big it's thick in there. Uh, it's a wild pattern in there, and it's kind of the same pattern in this, but it's less pronounced. I think that's what you get when you hollow stuff out, which makes sense. I know this is, I'm pretty sure, like I said, this one is a scan of a helmet. Uh, if it was screen used or not, I don't know, but I think we've come a long way. We've come a long way. Uh, I cut this like an idiot. Like I cut it like where the ears were still in. So... It's a mess. It's much, much bigger. I don't know. But yeah, I think we've certainly moved up in the world. And I am happy about it, for sure. So you're going in the garbage. 
you serve me well, but to the old and to the new. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This concludes our Battle Fever J marathon. I mean, it was a marathon. There's stuff in between. But, you know, it's nice to have another team knocked out. Uh, really looking forward to just hopefully keep that trend going. But I know sometimes people aren't huge fans of older Sentai stuff. Give it a chance. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you are mostly Power Rangers fans. Uh, but there's a lot of good stuff there. And I think you should check it out. Uh, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Especially, like, the not, not the... I guess Jetman, Jetman's 89, 90, or is it 91? I think Jetman's 91. So like the early 90s to like 85, please watch. It's so good. You can't go wrong. But Battle Fever, you know, there's some episodes you can watch. The other ones, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Though some people really like Battle Fever, and that's fine. I respect that. That's, that's an opinion. And I can get behind that. You, you are the champion. I'm proud of you. So, I think it's going to look great on the shelf. I want to do a video with the whole team. Just haven't figured out how to do that yet. But we, we will get there, I promise. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you can. It really helps me out. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. If you, and Facebook if you want to see daily build video pictures, daily build video pictures, daily build pictures, and some videos, there are some videos, um, more than welcome, always ask questions if you have any or anything, and I'll try to help you out, um, I've got merch in my store, you can check out, link in my bio, if you're interested in that, um, no pressure, just some people asked me, so I made it available, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.